Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and a happy new year. If we can say happy, I think you know what I mean. So I thought I'd bring you my first video of 2021 and share with you my goals and races for this coming season. It looks like we're in for a rocky start to this new year, what with the new lockdown and you know, it is quite hard to stay positive. So you do question whether actual racing will happen this year and I suppose all the time we spend in training and really not knowing what's going to happen. I think that staying positive is important and hope is really the only thing that we've got to cling on to at the moment. Racing is something that we are all desperate for and we have to believe that that's going to happen. So what are my plans for this year? What goals am I hoping to achieve? And what races am I planning on taking part in? So here we go, number one. First goal that I want to achieve is to run a half marathon PB. Now you all know if you follow the channel that I've been training and still am training to break my 5k PB and that's going pretty well at the moment. And if that comes, it comes. But more importantly for me, what I would like to achieve is to break my half marathon PB, which stands at 136, which I run last year. Now I'm hoping to run uh, the big half in London, which is the back end of April. And for me, that will be to try and go as close to one hour, 30 minutes for the half marathon distance. So the second goal that I want to focus on is around the half iron distance. Now, uh, when I raced the Outlaw last time, which obviously wasn't last season because there was no race, uh, I managed it in 5.35 and I want to go try and go uh, sub 5.15. And to be honest, I think that's well possible. I think I could even go slightly quicker than that. But that's going to be my second goal, to go faster at the Outlaw half uh, come May time and certainly go sub 5.15. The third goal is another running goal and that is to run as close to 3 hours 30 for the marathon distance. Now I've been accepted into the Berlin Marathon which is happening at the back end of September so there's some time now and I do believe that I can achieve that. So that's the third goal, 3.30 at the Berlin Marathon. Now my fourth goal is a swimming goal and to be honest with you, when I'll get back in the pool, who knows, but what I would like to do, and this is my 400 meter time, uh, and that is to improve that and I would like to go as close to or dip under the six minute mark for a 400 meter uh, time trial. So there we have it, there's the four goals that I'm setting. They are all time goals and you're probably thinking, well there's not many there and there's a good reason for that. Now I could have put some training goals within those as well. However, my thinking behind it is that, you know, I figured if I'm gonna achieve the time goals that I've set myself, then within my training, I'm gonna to have to achieve probably new, new training goals anyway. So I decided to keep the training goals out of it and just stick with the pure time and performance elements uh, during the racing. Now I would love to qualify for the GBH group uh, team for the half iron distance and I compete in probably one of the most competitive age ranges which is the 40 to 44 year olds. And I've got to say, you know, that is a longer term goal, but if I can achieve the goals that I've set myself this year, I know that I'll be a little, a little bit closer, a little step closer to it. And what I have worked out in the past that I'd probably need to dip under five hours, but it does depend on, you know, where you race, who you're racing with, what the winner's time was, and all those factors that you have to put into it. Now, not racing last season really robbed me of seeing any progress that I would have made last year and if we do get to race this year which i hope we do it's going to give me a real good opportunity to see where i'm currently at i am going to come back to this video because i think it'll be a good one to reflect back on at the end of the season and really see whether uh, the targets that i've set myself were realistic or you know how close i got to them what i achieved what i didn't achieve so i think it'll be a good reflection tool in the end now I am going to leave today's video there. I did say it was going to be a short one. I have got a few other short ones that I'm going to be releasing over the next few days. 
So I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, do give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in a couple of days. And one other thing, you know, if there is anything in particular that you want to see from me or you want me to focus on, then drop me some comments below and I'll quite happily look at trying to get some content together for you. And I'll see you soon.